Uh, this is Derek Tsai from LearnByBlogging.com. I will be doing a talk at the Toastmaster Club and I thought I'd bring you along as my uh, dry run. I'm doing a topic called the uh, Banana Man. First of all, before I begin, I would like to tell you a little bit about some facts about banana. Banana is actually a berry, uh, not a fruit. And it is grown on a herb plant her plant, the tallest grass and the biggest plants with no wood trunking. They have no roots and do not have seeds. It can propagate only by cuttings. And basically what it means is that all bananas are clones and <clears throat> it's only propagated by cuttings. When it kills one of the disease that kills one, it will kill the entire species and this already happened to uh, a couple of species like the Big Mike and Cavendish so because of there's no genetic diversity so enjoy your banana species while you can now enough about the banana plant I want to tell you about the story of Zen Murray Zen Murray is a Russian Jew who uh, immigrated to America 1891 at age of 14. He was tall, gangly, and penniless. The first time he saw and ate banana was back in two years later in 1893. That was 20 years into the American trade of banana. And those are during the heydays of steamboats. Banana was a very popular exotic imported luxury and it cannot be grown in America in US and it's even harder to transport. Zemary start out as a peddler, a hauler of the banana and a duck hustler along the Mississippi River. He was married and 31 years old and a year later a daughter was born. And because of that, he wanted to offer, give the, his daughter the best, as most uh, immigrant parents do. He uh, grow, wanted to grow the company. And to do that, he needs to grow the supplier base. And that means Central America. That's where the banana is most prevalent. The first time he visited Honduras, he bought 50,000 5,000 acres of la uh, junk land for $2,000, all with the borrowed money. And he put his Russian know-how to work based on his many years in uh, growing up in the uh, Russian farm. And he turned these barren land into very fertile banana farms. Along the way, he bribed Honduras government and even had to overthrow the government when he lost the uh, tax exemption. Eventually he expanded to Guatemala but against the United Foods which is the largest fruit company at that time or largest banana company at that time. When the conflict escalated the United States, US government stepped in trying to avoid these destabilizing the region especially near Panama Canal. So they are forced to merge and Zemery walk away with uh, they are forced to merge and that ended up with the 64 percent of the market banana market without any antitrust issue. Zemery walk away with 30 million dollars or 420 million dollars in today's dollar and uh, was he ready to retire? Not really, not quite. The Great Depression hit and uh, his wealth dropped into three million dollars, 10 percent. Did he plan, so in order to, he planned to turn around the company, he presented his plan to the, uh, to Boston, the board of director in Boston, and he was mocked 
by the board. A few weeks later, he walked into the board meeting room with the proxy votes and fired the entire board and the CEO. He became the CEO of United Fruits. Was it all rose picture, rosy picture after that? Well, not really. World War II happened, and a lot of the United Fruits ships were sunk by the German U-boats. His own, and the real tragedy happens when his son, airplane, crashed in the Africa as an Air Force pilot. He was heartbroken, and he started searching for meaning of life. Up until 1948, he wasn't involved in advocacy for Jews in general. Surprisingly, he stepped down from United Fruits CEO position and secured, trying to secure two-thirds of the votes of United, United Nations uh, General Assembly, bribing the Central America countries to vote yes for the, uh, the state of Israel, and the state of Israel was born. He eventually returned to United Foods, and because of some conflict in uh, Central America, they were broken up into three little three companies by U.S. government, and those conflicts were very sensitive because it involved the communist uprising that involved the central character. Fidel Castro that we know of. Eventually, United Foods turned into Chiquita as we know it today, after many ownership changes. So, Sam, Sam Marie died 1961 80, at the ripe age of 84 years old, with the estimated wealth of $30 million, a big chunk of which he donated to charity especially Tulane University in New Orleans. So, is Zen Murray's story a story of uh, rags to riches immigrants fulfilling the American dream? Or a shrewd businessman that spared no means to get the results? Or a man living to the life for the fullest purposes? And I think uh, the answer is yes for all three questions. And that's all I have about the Banana Man. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.